Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is. But we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Today's message is titled, The Guardians of the Galaxy. I've done several updates over the last couple of months talking about how I believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that right now we are being, con or the world is being conditioned to accept the lie after the rapture of the church that we were taken by aliens or something to do with UFOs or something along that line. I even shared the recent story, uh, a lot of places talking about it, from, but again from the Jerusalem Post. A former Israeli space security chief analyst said aliens exist and humanity is not ready. This galactic federation has supposedly been in contact with Israel and the U.S. for years, but are keep, keeping themselves a secret uh, to prevent hysteria until humanity is ready. Has the state of Israel made contact with aliens? According to retired Israeli officer and current professor Haim Eshed, the answer is yes, but this has been kept a secret because humanity isn't ready. So according to him, the United States and Israel have been in contact with the Galactic Federation. But again, they don't want themselves, uh, we're not, apparently humanity isn't ready uh, for them to be revealed. Um, and then, you know, we, we've been talking about how over the last few years, especially our movies, our television, um, our radio, our entertainment is filled with the supernatural, with aliens, with UFO abduction, and people are, um, they're obsessed with this stuff. And then just recently, we've had not only the United States military, but other militaries around the world are starting to come out at this particular time and release classified footage of UFO encounters. So why is all this happening? It's been happening for years, but more recently, it's, it seems like there is a, a massive uptick again in UFO sightings, alien abductions, this stuff being filmed in our movies, television, radios, entertainment, militaries coming out around the world and uh, releasing classified footage again of um, UFO encounters at this particular time. And then you had this, uh, this Israeli guy coming out and saying that the United States and Israel have been in contact with um, this galactic federation, but they're not going to be made, uh, revealed until the time is right. All right. Well, why is all this happening again? It's all about conditioning, folks. One day soon, the rapture of the church is going to occur. After the rapture, when the Antichrist is revealed and the new world order rises with the Antichrist and the false prophet who's going to be the right-hand man of the Antichrist, they're going to need to explain away the rapture. There's going to be a lie that's brought out to deceive the world. And that's what we're seeing. It's all about conditioning right now. And that brings me to what I want to share with you guys. So we've been covering this type of stuff again for months, but it just keeps getting each day that passes or just more that adds to the story. I just got this alert on Fox yesterday. Space Force members get new name, Guardians. And here's a recent article from The Guardian with an article titled, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mike Pence names members of New US, New US Space Force. Members of the, U the new United States Space Force will be known as Guardians, Vice President Mike Pence announced on Friday at a ceremony to mark the first, brand, first birthday of the newest branch of the U.S. Armed Forces, one of Donald Trump's signature policy initiatives. It is my honor, Pence said, on behalf of the President of the United States to announce that henceforth, the men and women of the United States Space Force will be known as Guardians, Soldiers, Sailors, Airmen, Marines, and Guardians will be defending our nation for generations to come. Here's actually a tweet from the United States Space Force uh, with a picture right there. Today, after a year-long process that produced hundreds of submissions and research involving space professionals and members of the general public, we can finally share with you the name by which, will we, by which we will be known, Guardians. 
And then in the the Fox News article, part of it goes on to say, the branch's responsibilities include developing military space professionals, acquiring military space systems, maturing the military doctrine for space power, and organizing space forces to to present to our combatant commands. As the space force gears up, other nations' militaries are also venturing into space. Russia tested a weapon system capable of destroying satellites in low Earth orbit on Tuesday. China is also developing weapons that could take down American satellites. And Iran's uh, paramilitary Revolutionary Guard sent its first satellite to space in the spring. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Again, when I got the alert that Mike Pence had named, uh, named them the Guardians... Made me think of, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. And all these other countries are now starting to do, you know, do all this stuff in space. I'm like, wow, it's just one thing after another. And folks, again, this is all part of conditioning for what is coming in the near future. The deception and the lie that people are going to believe. Again, going back to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6 to 12. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. This is referring to the restrainer. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. When the restrainer is taken away at the rapture of the church. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Referring to the future Antichrist. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Look at verse 11 here. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So after the rapture of the church, when the restrainer is taken out of the way, then the Antichrist is revealed. We know that God is going to send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. All right. Part of this lie, again, the lie is obviously going to be the, the, ant, uh, the deception of the Antichrist. All right. However, I believe part of this lie, again, is explaining where everybody went. When millions disappear, when millions of Christians uh, get taken at the rapture, all right, the Antichrist, the false prophet, the New World Order system, they're going to have to use some sort of explanation as to where everybody went. All right. And I believe it's clear as day what we've been seeing for years, but especially more recently, and now more recently with uh, this Israeli guy coming forth and saying the U.S. and Israel are in contact with this galactic federation, but they can't be revealed at this time because humanity's not ready. And then Mike Pence now coming out and naming the Space Force the Guardians. Uh, folks, I believe it's clear as day. Again, this is all about the conditioning process. I believe part of the lie, again, described in Second Thessalonians, the deception the delusion and the lie the world are going to believe, I believe part of this is this coming lie that's going to be used to explain away the rapture. And I believe it is going to have something to do with alien abduction, UFOs, or something along that line to explain what happened to us. We're seeing it unfold, folks, in terms of the conditioning. I had to share this with you. When I saw this, this, the news come out that they were during the Space Force is being named the Guardians, I'm like, how much more in your face does this need to be? If you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now. You see something's not right, it's not. This ship is sinking and you need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The Apostle Paul tells you in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 13, He starts off by saying this, In whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. So first you have to hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. What is the gospel of your salvation? The Apostle Paul gives you the gospel of your salvation in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. And this is the gospel of your salvation, that you believe, that you're putting your faith and your trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ on that cross at Calvary. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, paying your sin debt in full that you can never pay on your own so you can be forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ 
died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose from the dead. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. In the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, the apostle Paul says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So once you hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, which is Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose from the dead on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. Once you hear that, and you believe it, you put your faith and your trust in the gospel of your salvation. It says next in Ephesians 1.13, after you believe, you're sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. In the book of Ephesians 4.30, the Apostle Paul says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. But right here and right now, it's time to repent. What does repent mean? It means metanoia. It means to change your mind. What are you changing your mind about? You're changing your mind about who God is. You're going from unbelief, dead in your sins, to belief, a new creature in Christ. You're agreeing with God about your sin condition, that you're a sinner in need of a Savior, that you can't save yourself, that Jesus Christ did it all for you on the cross at Calvary by shedding his precious blood. And you're putting your faith and your trust in believing the gospel of your salvation, which is, again, Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose from the dead on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. Here's the bottom line. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell is a very real place. It's a literal place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. It's horrific. You do not want to go there. Jesus doesn't want you to go there. But that's where you will go if you die in your sin rejecting Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that's going to save you. So get saved right now because tomorrow is not promised. We can die at any time. We can breathe our last breath at any time. And I want you to go to heaven, but you have free will. I can't make the choice for you. The other thing is Jesus is coming, and he's coming soon, and you don't want to be here for what's coming on this planet. So choose Jesus today, choose newness of life today, choose heaven today, because tomorrow is not promised. Keep watching with me, keep looking up. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, he's coming, and he's coming quickly. God bless you all.